All right, welcome to another Python QGIS tutorial. Um, in the past, we've covered some operations for vector processing. Today, we're going to cover one for raster processing, and that's how to use the slope tool. So I have this uh, DEM loaded up here. It's the same DEM we downloaded in a previous video, and you can check that out. Um, I'll try to link that above so you can download that if you haven't done so already. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we're just gonna run the slope tool. So let's come down here in our search bar and type in slope. You'll notice we have two different slopes. We have this GDAL slope and this other slope, which is just the QGIS built-in slope. Let's start with the QGIS built-in slope and see what we have there. So we'll double click on it. Our input will be our uh, NED 10 meter DEM. We'll leave the Z factor the same. And I'm just going to save this to a temporary file. So let's go ahead and click Run. This will take just a minute. And there it is. We can click Close. And it looks like this is done in degrees because I don't have any values greater than 90. Okay? So there's one slope layer done with the QGIS algorithm. Now let's go ahead and do this again with the GDAL algorithm. So we can click, double click on the GDAL slope algorithm here. We'll make our input layer the NED 10 meter again. Um, we'll keep the default. I'm going to make this a percent though, and I want to compute the edges. Um, so you can see that the GDAL option here has a few more, or the GDAL tool has a few more options than the QGIS tool. We have more advanced parameters here. We're not going to worry about those. And once again, I'm just going to save this to a temporary file. So let's click Run here. Take just a second to go. Okay, and we have our slope finished over here. You'll notice this value is greater than this value. Overall, kind of the same spatial pattern, but slightly different colors. So let's just symbolize this a little differently real quick to see what pops out here at us. And we'll go to single band pseudo color. We'll change this to Let's go to our color ramps. We want something bright, if we have anything bright. Let's try our Inferno. Click Apply. Click OK. So there you go. You can see some areas of high slope now are popping out at us in some of these areas. OK, simple enough. But now what we want to do is we want to be able to do this with Python so we can automate it if we wanted to. Now the reason I did this without Python first is so that we could go to processing and history. And if I click on one of these, it gives me some Python code that I can run. Okay, so we can grab the code from both of these. So first, let's grab the code from the QGIS algorithm. I'm going to copy that with Control-C. I'm going to close this results window. Um, I'm going to remove these two slope rasters. And I am going to open up the Python console. Open up the editor. And I am going to start a new script. And I'm going to first paste this code in. So we've got processing.run. And you can see we have our input file name, temporary output, and the parameters for the tool. Now, I want to code this in so that my file name is right here which is C temp elevation ned 10m.tiff and I'm going to have out QGIS and I want to have out GDAL. We'll make two outputs here. So this will be C temp slope QGIS.tiff and then we'll have C temp slope gdal.tiff. Okay. And I'm just going to break this. I'm going to use some backslash enders to put everything here uh, on a new line so that it's easy to read. 
So we'll just break this out. There's the Z factor. And there's our out. Okay. So there's that. And now let's come down. Oh, sorry. Let's go back and see if we can go to processing, history, and grab the GDAL version. Control C to copy that. And now we will come down. We'll paste that. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll put everything on a new line so that it's easier to read and follow along with the tutorial. Okay, compute edges. And this Zevenberg is just another algorithm you could use that's included with GDAL. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, so now I have both of those there. And you'll notice these inputs. So we have the processing run basically has two parts to it. We have First of all, the name of the process we want to run, which is the QGIS slope in this case. And we have a dictionary that contains all the inputs. This is really easy to change. We can just come down and change this to FN, our input file name. And our output we can change to out QGIS. Okay. And then if we want to add this, back into the interface, we can do iface.add raster layer and give it the file name. Okay, And the same thing with GDAL slope. Here we're just going to change our input to be our input file name. And our output to be our out GDAL. And then we can do iface.add raster layer out GDAL. Okay? Simple enough. All right. Let's go ahead and click run and make sure these two rasters get added in. So I will click run here. Running. And there we have it. I'm going to close the console right now. There it is. We have two layers added in. You can see these values are the same as we generated before. And you can see they look the same as we generated before. Okay. So it's pretty simple to generate the slope rasters in QGIS. Now I want to show you something a little more advanced. We've worked with functions before in the past. But wouldn't it be nice if you could make a function so you didn't have to copy that out every time and you could adjust some of these parameters a little more easily? So let's go ahead and try this. Let's make a new function, def, and we'll call it slope QGIS, and we'll pass in a couple of parameters. And those parameters are going to be the input file name, the output file name, um, the Z factor, and that's all we need. We only have those three factors here. And if you remember, let's just go back and take a look at this. Processing history. Click on QGIS here. We can make the default for this temporary output so that we can run this function a lot more easily without specifying an input. So if we want to make the default temporary output, we just put equals temporary output, output, and Z factor equals 1.0. And now we can come down. We're just going to copy this code here. We're going to paste it there. We need to tab this over, tab that over, tab that over. And now in this code, instead of having these, these numbers and this file path, we're going to have a Z fact. And here we're going to have. Um, out fn and here we can add one um, add iface so do we want to add it to the interface equals will specify it as true and so then down here we'll just add a new line if add iface 
and we'll do iface dot add raster layer out fn. Okay. All right. So we have that set up there. Now let's make another one for GDAL. So def slope GDAL. So we're going to do in FN, out FN. Um, we're going to make that the same equals. I'm just going to copy this from up here. Temporary output. And here we can we can do the same thing with the Z factor. And I want to remove this code for QGIS here before we get confused about what's going on. We can add a Z factor code here. We can add something for any of these. And the Z factor code here is going to be scale. And I'm just going to do um, percent equals true. And we're just going to leave it like that for now. We're going to not use all the parameters just to keep it a little more simple. But then we can come down. We can copy this code here. Paste it back into our function. Okay, I'm going to get rid of it here. And then get rid of this. Okay, so there we go. And now, as percent, we're going to put in percent. Compute edges, options, and here we're going to put out fn. Okay. So, there we go. Pretty simple, isn't it? So now um, I haven't added anything here. Let's just go ahead and we'll do we'll just do iface dot add raster layer out fn. Okay. And now what we can do is instead of now we this is replicable, right? So I can call um, Let's call slope underscore QGIS. My input file name is FN out QGIS. Um, and then we'll do add, or we'll just keep that the same, so we'll add with the I face, okay? And then we can call slope underscore GDAL FN out GDAL. And we'll run these, and we should get our two raster layers over there. And like I said, the great thing about this is I don't have to copy that code every time. Now I have it set up so that I can just copy this function and type one line of code, and it's going to run. Let's click Run. And boom, there you go. I'm going to close the console again. And we've got our two, um, sorry, our two layers added back in. And as you can see, they're the same as we calculated before. So that is how you can use Python to write a couple of slope functions that utilize the QGIS slope algorithms and make it really easy to reproduce that. Now, if you guys are interested, I know I talked a lot about how Python is really great. I learned this in Python is really great because you can batch process things, but I haven't actually showed you how to batch process anything. Is that something that you guys know how to do and don't need me to show you? Or is that something you'd be interested in a video on is for me to show you how we can use the things we've done with Python and QGIS to batch process things efficiently? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. and I hope that you've enjoyed this video.